Yeah, we all have such a profound capacity to be of benefit and um, the Bans U training um, allows us or gives us the tools to really tap into into the, the our capacity to be of benefit and to tap into our strengths, gifts and talents as a human being, to really um, get get all out of what we are actually capable of doing and for that we need to really know what the nature is of the nature of our mind is what is all what are all our data streams and really what is the true nature of those and um, the nature of all data so all the thoughts and emotions and sensations they they arise they hang out and then they self-release that's the nature of all data streams so um, that we can see directly in our experience. We cannot hold on to any of our thoughts and emotions and sensations. We've never could and we never can, even if we want to keep the positive in place and get rid of the negative, both is not possible. So that's what we come to see. We see that the, the, all our data streams are forever fleeting, changing. So we want to rely on that, that is always stable, always on, always present, open intelligence. And so that's what we're doing when we take a short moment. We recognize open intelligence in the midst of all our data stream, inseparable. Because that's a key point. Data and open intelligence are inseparable. Like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. And that be will become more and more our lived experience directly. The inseparability of data and open intelligence. So that's great because I thought I need to get rid of some data streams in order to recognize my true nature, in order to recognize open intelligence. I need to work on these data streams, they're over here and open intelligence far up there. And I need to achieve it. But what I found out here is that they are inseparable from the data stream, that everything already is, nothing needs to be achieved. Open intelligence already present, pure, luminous, always on. We just need to recognize it and get familiar with, with that as our true identity. And that's what we do with the taking short moments. We recognize open intelligence in each moment. For a split moment, we recognize ah, the inseparability from data and open intelligence. We stop describing. We stop describing all the data stream that is coming up. Just for a moment and relax body and mind completely. And we can do that during our entire day, whenever we naturally remember to do so, so we don't need to contrive anything, whenever we remember to take a short moment, stop describing everything that comes up, stop analyzing everything that comes up, or trying to figure out why I feel like that, or why I think like that, or why this person said that. We just can completely relax. Let every data be as it is. And from that we see complete clarity and skillful means open up. We see opening up a complete capacity to know in each moment what to do and how to act. Each time, place and circumstance. So that's really, that's really amazing. I couldn't believe when I heard that the first time. I was like, you shared. I was like, oh, I was a bit afraid. I need to have a structure to know what to do somehow. I need to have guidelines. I need to have ethics that tell me exactly what I should do and shouldn't do. But what I found out that there's an innate knowing of what will be of most benefit. And it's so natural to us that we just know in every moment what to do and how to act. It doesn't need guidelines in that way. The only guideline is open intelligence, the benefit of all, if you want a guideline. That will always serve you best in knowing what to do and how to act. And you, you will more and more get comfortable with that. And also, uh, that's what I've seen. It, I just got to more and more trusted in my own experience by testing it out. So you just test it out and naturally it will confirm it through your own direct experience, that clarity to know what to do. The, the natural alignment with benefit is so natural to us. So we get to trust it more and more, just through your own direct experience. We don't need to trust it right away or need to like, oh, I need, you know, like, no, it, it, for our direct experience, it, it will just confirm it again and again. And that's so powerful because then we have the immediate experience, not anything that somebody told us or it's like a concept or philosophy or anything. No, directly in our own direct experience, it, it uh, opens up as that. And then that's really a, a confirming. 
And now I see like, wow, I completely trust that because I've seen so many experiences in my life where it just was so clear that it, that's the most beneficial way how to use my mind. So we test it out like that and gain confidence in our own direct experience. It's really profound and, and, and um, we use the tools that are offered here, like the short moments that I was sharing about and then we have a whole support network of the four mainstays which includes the short moments, the training like meetings like this and also trainings. We have written trainings that just deepen the recognition of open intelligence. We have a trainer that we can be in touch with that also clarifies our experience more and more, also always pointing us back to, to um, our capacity, pointing us back to open intelligence. Then the community, seeing, seeing so many people all over the world, like we heard, it's like a movement all over the world, people taking responsibility for their data, taking responsibility in how to use the mind most beneficially and supporting each other with that. So we have a complete um, support network that helps us in times when it's maybe hard to take a short moment, maybe where we don't see clearly what to do and how to act. Then we have a whole, whole um, community of friends and, and trainers that we can rely on, that share their own direct experience. And that opens up so much in our own direct experience as well, confirming and gaining confidence as that. So we have the, all the tools to really tap into to our um, capacity as a human being. Everything is provided. So we can just test that out. We can also test out how to use the four mainstays and we were also happy to share more and more our, our own direct experience as that as well. And um, the powerful thing is also, it's not about that, that negative data will not come up anymore, especially when we hear things that are happening in the world. I mean, I feel everything coming up really everything, so deeply, I mean, all kinds of data stream, sadness, anger, I mean, it could be anything. And um, the difference is now how I, how I go about with these data streams, where I used to always get lost in the data stream, feeling that I was a victim and didn't know what to do, because all the data was uh, stirring, I blamed others, I, you know, like I just got into all the data, couldn't see clearly, I didn't see a capacity how I can be of benefit there, what can I do, you know, like it, I felt so helpless before I came to this training and now I see a complete shift in that. Maybe all the data streams still arise when we hear something or, you know, something really um, comes up and then there we allow all the data to be as they are we don't need to change them, get rid of them, or go into them. We see them clearly for what they are, and that allows us to be completely clear in how to, what to do and how to act in a certain circumstance, and actually really em empower ourselves and see what can we actually do as, as an individual human being. Now I feel so empowered, and that's also the reason why I share my experience here, is because I see there's another way how to relate with each other as a human being, that will, will provide peace and harmony with, with, between each other. I just see it in my own direct experience. That's why when I hear things now, how the world, what's happening in the world, it just strengthens my commitment because I see there's another way. There's a solution to that and I, I want to share that. So I'm completely committed to that now because I can see that there's, we can make a change. But it really starts with each one of us making that change in every moment, how we use our mind. It's, it's amazing to, to really allow ourselves to, to open up as a, this capacity that we have as a human being to be of benefit and really bring that forth in, in our life. So that's why I share my, my experience because I see that it works. I've seen it now over the last years, just seeing so clearly, wow, it's really... We, we can be so peaceful, we can be so skillful, we can live together in harmony and peace. It's a possibility, a lived possibility that we see within ourselves and with others in the community. And, um, so, and the key is really to allow ourselves to get to know ourselves in all the data streams, so also in the negativity. We, we have a choice in each moment. There we can allow it to be as it is. I always thought I need to run away from negativity. I need to do something with it. 
And now I see that there's the power in that. It's open intelligence, a dynamic energy that allows me to be skillful. This allows me to feel everything fully, yet remain completely clear, open-hearted, and always aligned with um, the benefit of all. Just naturally aligned. It's our, it's our um, true nature, and, and, and we just, it just got unnoticed. We just forgot about it in a way, because we, we trained ourselves to focus in on all the data streams from when we were small. So now we can allow ourselves that time to really um, yeah, recognize open intelligence again that always is present. And who knows how it would be. I mean, I met the training when I was 28. I'm now 39. And I don't know how it would have been if I met it with uh, 18, if it was, would have been easier or not. Uh, but I don't think about it anymore like that. Because it's right there, in that moment, we have that choice. When we, when we think that it would have been easier when I was younger and regret and everything, we limit ourselves completely. Don't limit yourself to any belief system. Look at all the belief systems from the vantage of open intelligence, wide open. You don't want any point from which to view. You want the all-encompassing wide view of open intelligence. Because if we limit ourselves to a concept or any idea, then we are sucked in. That's what we see. From that's what we view the, the world from. But it's very limited if we can see the world from this wide vantage of open intelligence. So no more limitations. No more data stream that can limit us in any way. We know that there's complete openness within our experience in the midst of everything that arises, in the midst of all data streams. The concept of brain completely wide open. Everything completely wide open. We know everything from that vantage that we need to know. So crystal clear. Crystal clear. Nothing is blindsided anymore. You know, when it's sometimes it's so foggy and we cannot see clearly, that fog is just evaporated through the, the shine of open intelligence that we can trust. And that is what we get familiar in, in our direct experience more and more. Just gradually. I mean, for me, it was very gradual. I came to a meeting like this and listened, and it, it sounded so powerful to me, but then I needed to come back a few times to really allow myself to test it out. So I came to many open meetings. I did the introductory training and all the trainings that we are offering here, and just allowed myself time to test it out in my own di direct experience, what was shared. and could see that it just more and more became my lived reality. So it's great that we can immediately test it out in our direct experience.